Hey guys, this is Joey with Staying Alive Survival. Today I'm here to talk to you about emergency dog food and emergency cat food. These are awesome. They're actually pretty large, so you can take off chunks of them to give to your animal while in an emergency trip. Um, they are vacuum sealed, five year shelf life. They are approved by the Animal Association, um, AAFCO. So you wanna make sure when thinking about survival bags and bug out bags, that you have enough food for yourself, of course, that's gonna last you whether it's three day, five day, 10 day. Um, but you also need to figure out what you're gonna do with the animal. You have two options. You leave your animal at home, so that means you're gonna probably tear open a big bag of dog food or cat food for them and have a huge amount of water that they can have access to and hope that they're still there and still okay by the time the disaster ends and you get back home. Option two is that you're gonna take them with you. Now, if you do take them with you, and you have your own survival gear and you have your own survival food for yourself that's going to last you three, five, seven, ten days, you need to also be prepared to have food for your animal and for your pet. Now obviously cats and dogs are going to differ, but for what I would say is make sure you have two to three bags, maybe up to five bags depending on how long your, your travel is for your emergency preparedness plan, um, but it has to be old enough to sustain them for that period of time. Now just to recap, Emergency bags are geared towards not continued survival, but getting you from one place to another. So if it takes me three days to get to the place I need to go, I need to have a three day survival bag. Probably more like a five day, because you might not even know what's there. So you have to have some um, leeway room. So for your animal, if it's gonna take you three days, five days to get to where you need to go and sustain yourself until you can find more food, then you can prepare that way. So make sure you take a look and calculate for yourself what your plan is for your animals if there is a, some sort of a disaster so you know what you're going to do and you can plan and buy these little foods if you need to. They're very cheap and they last five years. So technically it's $10-$15 for a full five to seven day rations of food every, fifth, every five years. It's not that bad of an investment. So hopefully that's valuable to you. If you have anybody that has pets that you think needs to buy this stuff or needs to think about what they're gonna do in, in case of a disaster, make sure you share this video with them. Um, also help us out by subscribing below. That way you get all the video, video reviews, product reviews. Um, we have some lesson, some tutorials that we'll be posting up and you'll get access to everything. So hopefully you have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.